What makes Dallas-Fort Worth the number one most moved to metropolitan area in America? It is. Recent report from ABC says 97,000 people moved to Dallas-Fort Worth last year alone. Honestly, I think the numbers are a little bit higher. My guess is the boundary line for the data is literally within Dallas-Fort Worth proper and didn't count all the suburban surrounding expansive cities. It's I've heard as, as many as 200,000. Uh, here's the deal. DFW, regardless of how you play the numbers, has a massive magnet right now that's drawing a ton of people here. And the question is, what's the magnet? Why? Why do so many people want to move here? And the answer is a lot of things. So let's run down why people are moving here and what those buyers are telling us when they're asking us to help them buy property in Dallas-Fort Worth and surrounding areas. Number one is affordability. Now, if you're asking a local in Dallas or Fort Worth, they would tell you, man, houses are more expensive than they've ever been. But compared to a lot of the rest of the world and certainly a lot of the rest of the United States of America, DFW is still relatively affordable, right? Lots of people are moving here because um, Texas specifically and certainly Dallas, Fort Worth inside of Texas does not have a state income tax. We do have uh, property taxes and compared to a lot of other places that sort of shakes people because they feel higher than other areas, but factored into the overall deal, the tax burden in DFW is lower than most other major metropolitan cities in America. Not all, but most. Yeah, some of the other reasons are healthcare. We have really, really great hospital systems here all in and throughout Dallas-Fort Worth. Um, access to travel. Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport is one of the best international airports in the world. It is really well run. It's, it's well located in between Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Frisco, McKinney, all the major population centers in and around Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, also, as far as entertainment, we've got major sports. And in the DFW area, you know, the big ones, baseball and football are centrally located because they're actually in Arlington, which is in the southern middle part of the DFW Metroplex. But we've also got basketball, hockey, minor league soccer, I mean, major league soccer. We've got all of it, but we have the minor leagues of each of those sports as well as major league soccer, which is on the north side, a little closer to Dallas, but still fairly accessible to both sides. And then every other thing you could think of in regard to, you know, literally things like cricket and high lie and all sorts of, you know, pickleball is becoming big. And there's literally major pickleball facilities and leagues booming and blossoming here in the DFW area. Not to mention some of the stereotypical things that you would think of in Dallas and Fort Worth if you're from outside the area, like roping and rodeo, you know, um, literally bull riding and things like this, that to many parts of the country are sort of this funny niche Southern Texan thing, but they are very real here very much alive. Uh, there are weekly rodeos and then there are big annual rodeo festival season concert type scenarios um, in and around DFW from Mesquite all the way to Fort Worth and just about every place in between. You know, when you think of culture, uh, Dallas and Fort Worth both have pretty cool arts communities, whether you're looking for theater, symphony, or something in between, museums with the Perot Museum and many others. We've got some pretty significant art, culture, research, science, um, you know, centers. Dallas Zoo is legitimate. Fort Worth Zoo is known nationally. Um, for families, we've got, you know, for a city of this size, an unfair share of parks and recreational opportunities with trail systems, um, traditional parks on the edges of the communities, and then some really rare things like Clyde Warren Park, right in the heart of downtown Dallas, over the top of what is about a 12 lane highway at this point, where you have a very urban New York, Chicago, LA feeling, um, major park with towering skyscrapers all around you with restaurants and recreational opportunities for concerts and walking and hiking and biking and laying in the grass. So some really, really cool stuff. And I could go on for hours and hours and hours. We've also got some very good reasons that people are moving here um, for public school as well as private school at almost every level, right? So we've got elementary, you know, major school districts as well as private higher education, 
as well as public higher education. We've got um, faith-based organizations, private, and as well as some really cool private organizations that aren't, and then some great public higher educational institutions as well. Um, and really, it, it expands the entire Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex, which goes all the way up to Denton and beyond, you know, out to Fort Worth, over to Dallas, and again, beyond. So I could go on for hours and hours and hours, but for the sake of time, we'll wrap it up here in a minute. If you have interest in making a move to Dallas-Fort Worth, let us know. We're a real estate brokerage with an office in Dallas and an office in Fort Worth. This real this, this YouTube channel has hundreds of other videos about small communities within DFW that you might want to take a look at. Those 97,000 people in the last year alone, more than 11 people per hour, are not all moving to the city of Dallas or the city of Fort Worth. They're moving to cities in and around Richardson, South Lake, Alito, Benbrook, Frisco, Allen, you know, these little communities that make up the DFW Metroplex. So check out our other videos. If you have questions, comment below. We'd love to help you if you're making a move here, to here, or from here. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Have a good one.